this is Miss Lucy. Miss Lucy was interviewed. Um, it was an impromptu interview by her sister, and we all need to hear this story. It was an it was very eye opening, and it speaks to what many of our foremothers went through. I don't have a need for a man. Five or six minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just chat with him, and then he gone. Well, what do you need him for? Why? I don't need him. <laughs> I don't really need him. I'm, I'm kind of trying to tell you, I don't need no man. Okay. But I, with me being a woman, I miss a man's company. And, and with me being a woman and been married and, and, and been in different relationships, mm -hmm. I miss a man's company and I miss a man's touch. But I, that's all, I don't need, I can't get that unless I get all the other stuff that comes with a man, and I don't want that. And anything I want, I can go get, and I ain't got to be tell, nobody to tell me. If I go somewhere and, and, and come, come back, why are you gone so long? No, you, 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 you got to go, you know. Or where have you but, been? So here's a question for you. That was the men of, of old times where they talked about the man being the head of the house and, you know, he just basically, the women were property to them. That's how it used to be back in the day. In the current generation, things are a little bit different. It doesn't seem like men try to lord over women and they control don't. them. I don't know. I'm, I'm Look, <laughs> why are you looking like that? Now, let me ask you this. You say you'll never marry again, but your marriage, the one marriage that you that I had, had was really more like an arranged oh, it, marriage. It you was. never asked to marry him in the first place. I didn't. And you never said that you loved him in the first place. And How I didn't. did you get married? What's the story? My mama, uh, with, with, I had a baby. And How it, old were you? I was 14. Okay. And I had a baby. And because, but when I got pregnant, the, the, the boy said it wasn't his baby. Mm-hmm. And he went on and told mama about the girl he was lacking, how she was high yellow and built like a Coca-Cola bottle. Mm -hmm. And what makes you think I'm going to fool with somebody ugly and black and snappy headed like your daughter? And over her. Mm -hmm. So his sister said, well, that's, all, that's what you're doing. Because mama, he's the only boy that be here. And he be here. Daddy said he said he ain't been there. He ain't been there. His dad. His dad. His daddy believed him. Mm -hmm. if, and if so, he didn't do it, if he said he wasn't messing with her, he wasn't he messing wasn't with her. He wasn't messing with her. Mm -hmm. So he went his way, and I went my way. And through all through the pregnancy, I was alone. Mm -hmm. And back then, you couldn't. I didn't. The, friend, the little girls I played with on the plantation, I couldn't play with no more. Because I done got pregnant to the older folks. Mm -hmm. I am mm -hmm. to the older folks. You're a bad I, influence. I'm a bad influence for them. And I'm grown. So I couldn't. Mm -hmm. I didn't have nobody to play. But the only somebody stood by me was his, the boy's sister. The boy got me pregnant, his sister. And so after the baby was born, things was, was still going on fine with mama until... After, when the baby was born, he wanted to, us to get back together. You know, you said all this about me and, and, and went on your way. And then when the baby come looking like you, you want me to, us to date and get, start dating and get married and mm -hmm. raise the baby. Mm -hmm. And I told him, no, I told him he can go screw his mom. Go screw the what to his mom? Screw <laughs> and so mama heard me and when mama heard me she came in there where we were and she says he said well I'm gone Miss Dale I tried and he, and he walked out and because I wouldn't have him mm -hmm. and date him she would always tell me you got to find you and that, and that bastard baby somewhere to stay you can't stay here no more. now this was your mother this was my mom and you were 14 years old I was old. 14 years old you and the bastard baby can't stay with her. We can't stay with her. And so, and every time she leaves, she was, she was a pardon woman. And she drank heavy. And every time she leave home, she'll tell me, I'm leaving. 
But when I get back, you and that bastard child, you better be gone. But I ain't got no way to go. When she come back, I'll be still. Mm -hmm. Still sitting there. Holding my baby. And... Uh, one night she came in and, and, and this other boy, John Hale, was there playing checkers with my oldest brother. They were about the same age. They were playing checkers together. And she came in, when she came in, she said, God damn, you still here? I told you when I got back, I want you and that bastard child to be gone. He didn't even say a word. He, they just kept playing. And then the next day he came down and he said, Asked me, was mama there? I said, yes. He said, well, tell him I, I want to holler at her, man. And so he ain't asked you nothing? He it never asked me to marry. I had the baby. Uh -huh. So here's a guy that's a asking to speak to your mom. Now, you don't know why. I don't know why. Okay. But he told her, he said, I heard you last night speaking to Lucy. But what you said to her, did you mean it? He, and she said, like what? He said, you told her that you want her and her bastard child to be out of your house. She said, hell yeah, you want her, you can have her. I had the baby. Uh -huh. So here's a guy that's a asking to speak to your mom. Now you. Why, why didn't you hate him, though, after he did? First of all, you didn't ask to be married to him. Uh-uh. And after he put you through all the stuff, and I mean a lot of stuff, why didn't you hate him? I just, because I, I, he didn't mean nothing to me. Okay. You know. And when he, when God said, let, I told God to let, to, I wanted him out of my life, wanted him to move him out of my life, but not by death. Because I knew if he, moved, if he went by death, I was going to do it. And my children was going to be left to the state. So I, I didn't want to be the one to get rid of him and then lose my children too. Mm -hmm. I, I, I didn't want that. And I thank God for what he did. And so I was just glad. John was gone. He's gone. <laughs> thank God I don't have to work with him no more. The part that I want to pull out is right here where the interviewer, her sister, says, well, that was the men of the olden days. And that is absolutely not just men of the olden days. Men of right now are still repeating these same tropes of wanting a woman in the house, being basically at their beck and call and being a bang maid. Modern men have not changed that drastically from our granddaddy's time. No, yeah, no. And that's probably the why, reason why Miss Lucy is looking at her like this right here. You, you, you got to go, you know, oh, where you but, been? So here's a question for you. That was the men of of old times where they talked about the man being the head of the house and you know he just basically the women were property to them that's how it used to be back in the day in the current generation things are a little bit different it doesn't seem like men try to lord over women and they control don't. them i don't know i'm i'm look <laughs> someone emailed me this twitter thread and the thread started because this lady right here that we can see is talking about how she got pregnant, um, what happened with her mother, and how she um, ended up married. And the things that are highlighted when older ladies talk, older Black women talk, crushes the narrative of why aren't marriages lasting and edifying and pedestalizing marriages that lasted decades. Marriages that lasted decades weren't because women were actively just like yes this is the most amazing place for me to be these marriages lasted these this long a lot of the times because women couldn't get away they were basically hostages and didn't have many rights and so this this definitely started a conversation and i am so thankful that i was sent this threat like this woman says most of the marriages they idolize are rooted in lack of access and not love but I digress, lack of access. Women did not have access back then until, 19, until the 1970s, couldn't get a bank account um, without a man, uh, their daddy or their husband. They didn't have the rights and even, and black women have always worked in this country, let's be for real. But the, the pennies that we were given weren't enough to 
take care of whole families and ourselves. So we had to be married back then. That's the reason why you cannot look at what is going on today and then juxtapose it to, to the marriages back then because women could be great and were and then left with a baby and then they had to figure things out. So it's completely different. Now go follow this creator. This creator is putting many um, voices on camera um, of the older ladies speaking their truth. This is history being spoken and I'm so thankful for it. Now for some of the comments. This woman says, this is why I'm so glad you modern ladies are waking up to the fact that those long marriages that used to be so advertised were not happy ones of the ones that someone wanted. Women were literally given to men they did not want or love by their families. Now also understand that many girls and women globally are still being given to men. We really just got um, some freedoms in this country, but recognize that globally, women and girls are still just being given to men. And you know, of course, some men had to come in. So why isn't ours lasting longer than them since you thought there's, there wasn't it? The day y'all know marriage ain't about happiness, that's the day y'all will understand this part. Happiness are moments, it doesn't last. Sacrifice, duty, and honor um, is what made it last. These people simply think that our lives as women are supposed to be about sacrifice. That's it. We are born just to sacrifice. This person says most of these women were literal children being married off to grown men. Grandfathers were Fritos. Let's start there. And then he comes back with, well, back then and now is different. They weren't Fritos, but now same children are having kids and rich old men. It's called securing the bag, sis. So he wants to just gloss over the fact that many of our grandmothers didn't have choices and were teenagers and bring it to now with some of the women talking about securing the bag. This woman says, sacrifice, duty, and honor does not have to come with a stamp of misery for a woman. Yes, we are no longer doing sacrifice, duty, and honor and being miserable. That tolerable level of unhappiness, we are bypassing that part and leaving when necessary. But these dudes get so angry because women don't have to stay miserable. Now, in this thread, so many women were talking about what their grandmothers went through. This person says, it's so sad hearing stories like this, but unfortunately, it was many of our grandmothers and great grandparents' reality. I'm thankful for the choices we're able to have as women this day and age because women weren't even allowed a bank account without a husband. Now we own empires. This woman says, my mother told me when she and my dad went to qualify for a loan, he couldn't secure it and they wouldn't give her one without his consent, even though she had the better credit. This was in 1973. 1973. Think about how long ago that is. That's not very long. Literally 50 years ago. This person says, this is why women need to stop listening to the manosphere and most of these misogynist takes on marriage and listen to the real from the women perspective. Absolutely. Stop listening to men. They're only, they only want to bring women back. That's the reason back into the home where women have no control, no financial security, no independence. They want to bring it back because back in the day, men could do whatever they wanted and women had no choice but to stay. Today we have choices. They don't like having choices because sometimes these women are literally choosing to be single. She continues with, hell, of course they're going to say what they say. They want that free labor and freedom to abuse like the granddaddy's got. My grandma spilled the tea too. She loved my grandfather, but it was a marriage out of necessity. She literally needed to marry this man to have a bank account. This woman, same thing happened to my grandma. She had to stop going to school um, because they didn't like that she was pregnant young. And since no one talked about SEX back then, they didn't know how to prevent much. If you even brought up SEX in the house, you get a beat down. This story sounds like my great grandmother's story. She was 15 when she got pregnant and had to marry a 20 year old. Then they went on to have two other children before she divorced him at 24, something that was also looked down upon back then. 
This is crazy because something similar happened to both of my grandmothers. They were teenagers and got pregnant by grown men and they were forced into situations they didn't want to be in to survive. And this last one of this thread, can we also mention the horrible impact Christianity had on guilting women to stay in miserable marriages? Still happening today. Absolutely. And that is why I get so happy that the clutches of religiosity are loosening because what they did to keep women confined into these miserable marriages that they didn't have very much choices in being in. If you guys have any um, commentary on what your grandmother went through, please let me know. Um, my one grandmother who I grew up with, who I lived with for the longest, never remarried. I never knew my grandfather. He died before I was born. And my grandmother never even considered, I never saw her date. I never saw her talk about a man. She had eight children. And I'm sure that that is probably the reason why she never even wanted to think about marriage again, but she never had these conversations with me. Um, yeah. So I don't know how long she was single, but she, after my grandfather died, she wasn't interested. What about y'all? Drop some stories.